the lack of this one thing will stall your business, it will crush your business. And that's what Alison Maslan talks about in the book, Scale or Fail. You see, most businesses struggle to scale because of this one simple, very fundamental thinking mistake that even Michael Gerber talks about in the book, e -Myth. The mistake most entrepreneurs make is that they think from the present. Now you might be thinking, thinking from the present is the only logical or right thing to do, right? Because this is the way it should be. Because you're thinking from what exists today. This is the problem because as an entrepreneur, when your future is modeled from the present realities, from the present conditions, circumstances, challenges, you're letting the present problems bog you down. And that is why your business gets stunted. In order to scale your business rapidly, you don't start from where you are. You don't start your vision from your present challenges, from your present problems. You don't think from the present into the future. Instead, you start from where you want to be, as in you think from the future into the present. You think of your long-term vision and you need to have the courage to be able to go out in the future and look at that long-term vision to be able to think bigger and to be able to grow bigger. And your job as an entrepreneur is to design your future and then direct your day-to-day -day efforts to get to that future. That is how you play to win, not playing to not lose. This is how you get pulled towards something great rather than trying to push yourself towards a future that you're not clear about. So remember, in order to scale your business rapidly, you must think from the future into the present rather than thinking from the present into the future. It's a very important distinction and you may not be getting it just yet, but keep maybe rewinding it, pausing this and listening to this again and again till you get the point. You see, the problem is that when you are thinking from present, you are unable to to get pulled towards that vision. You need the future vision to guide your present reality, to guide your present actions, to guide your present decisions. Because if all, if you allow your present circumstances and conditions to dictate your actions, your growth will be stunted. Okay, so how do we identify? How do we figure out that grand vision? Well, here is an exercise that Alison talks about in the book. It's the five-year visioning exercise. And what I want you to do right now is to pull out a pen and paper and do this exercise with me. If you are listening to this in your car or in the gym, on the podcast, make sure to come back to this exercise, watch this on video so that you can do this exercise or just do this exercise again when you are on your desk, okay? Promise? Okay, let's do it. So the first thing is you're gonna write your answers in present tense as if the future was happening right now. Let me explain what I mean. Five years from now, the question is, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions and you're gonna answer them. Think about what kind of business, what kind of work is your business doing now? Five years into the future, what kind of work is your business doing? What kind of products are you selling? What kind of services are you creating? What kind of people are you touching? And not only that, the question, that follows is what do you personally spend most of your time on? What's your schedule like? What kind of things are bringing you the most joy? What kind of things are you focused on in order to grow the business, in order to take the business to the next level? Another question, how many people is your business impacting? And then also think about your revenue, your profits, your team size. Where are you five years from today? And also think about the accomplishments, the media, the awards, all those things that have come to you as a result of what you've built. Also think about your peer groups. Who are you spending time with? Who are your mentors now? Who are your coaches now? Who are the, the parts of your masterminds now? And take all of these answers, take all of these questions and answer them and then write a complete story of that vision as if you are living it every day going forward, as if you're living it day to day to day to day, right? Now you have to ask yourself, how does it feel? How does it feel to run a company like this? And don't stop until it feels amazing thinking about running a business like this. And I went through this exercise rather quickly. You should probably pause, do the work, pause, do the work, pause, answer these questions, 
before you get through this whole exercise. If all you do is listen to me while doing this exercise, it's of, it's going to be of zero use to you. So I want you to take your pen and paper, do this exercise, and if not pen and paper, on Evernote, do this exercise. It will probably take you 20 to 30 minutes to do this exercise, but it'll be one of the most important things you do in your business. Now here's the thing. Don't limit yourself by the how. Don't limit yourself by how you will get there. The how will come from the vision. Forget about the how, dream big, and that will allow you to get where you want to go. Now, the key is to think big in order to inspire yourself. Imagine the biggest possible vision for your business, the massive transformation you want to see in the world, and how your business is going to change lives, revolutionize your industry, build that brand, all of those things. So think bigger than what you might have thought in the previous exercise in order to really, really, really inspire you. And then you don't just stop there. Now you have to visualize it, you have to see it, you have to feel it every single day. Read it out loud every single day. Read out that story you have painted for yourself. Surrender to it, accept it as a present reality. Live in that vision, feel it right now. Repeat this visualization every single day. The more you visualize, the greater your chance of making it true. Your job is to paint that vivid story, right? Paint that story and imagine yourself walking into your business five years from today. What do you see? What, do you, what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Paint the st story as if it's happening in real life and it's as amazing as you wanted it to be. And that's when you will be pulled towards it. So if you found this visioning exercise useful, if you saw yourself making the mistake of thinking from the present rather than thinking from the future, and if you are genuinely excited about scaling your business rapidly, I want to invite you to my group coaching program. If you are a coach, consultant, expert, thought leader, if you want to scale your online business, if you want to go from $5,000 months to $50,000 months, apply at 2000books.com slash grow. My personal coaching clients, they generate over $8 million annually. And now I want to help you scale your business. So, so apply for my group coaching program, go to 2000books.com slash grow. And here's a requirement. You must be hitting $5,000 a month in revenue in order to apply for the program.